that's come up several times on the podcast about the struggle when women are building for women, but pitching to men. And the problem is real, but it just isn't quite understood by the people on the other side of the table, which makes things like uh, the Josephine Collective that much more important because we need people who can really understand. And we have so many more female founders building for women because that's the problems that they know. Um, And we've really got to start to shift where the money is flowing from and who it's flowing from. Absolutely. And, you know, the, there aren't enough venture jobs to catch up with the demand from these, you know, emerging new representing new communities, new backgrounds, founders. So you can replace women with, you know, very specific audiences of people, right. Who are building solutions for their communities. And we see this um, a lot with TechRise. So the the initiative that I work on at P33 is the $5 million non-dilutive fund for black and Latinx founders here in Chicago, specifically focused on the friends and family stage. And when you are a first time founder coming from a community and you're solving a problem, like let's say it's last mile distribution in the beauty space. That is a problem that unfortunately a lot of white men don't know, but also a lot of white women don't know. And so it's not just about the the gender breakup. I think that there's also about making sure that as investors, we are educating ourselves or finding pathways to educate ourselves. That isn't just like, well, let me ask my wife, let me ask my daughter what she thinks of this product or service. And, and that's something that as a founder, I've reached, you know, I've seen over and over again.